Hello and welcome to Highwaymen TV. We've got highlights from the Highwaymen's trip to Bristol FC and Evo State East, and the teams are coming up now. For Mortal Town, then we've got Dan Lawson in goal, Jordan Fry, Chris Reed, Ben Sayer, Jeff Henderson, Michael Turner, Sean Taylor, Sam Hodgson, Liam Henderson, David Carson, and Captain Wayne Phillips on the bench. Julian Petrash, Jack Foley, Thomas Potter, Keith Graydon, and Stuart Mott. For the visitors, then Oliver Fairbrother, Ryan Clemson, Harry Lansdowne, Albert Lansdowne, Carl Slater, Eric Graves, Connor Ward, Mark Branch. The captain Jordan Dodge, Cameron Steele, and Callum Riddell on the bench for the host, Zachy Evans, Miles Botfield, Harry Hartfield, and Lucas Harrison. Come on, but the end is literally a brick wall as we get underway here. And Gressley just lumping up the part, and Jordan Fry gets his first head of the ball at right back. And he's, he's the one who's seen most of the ball as he retrieves it again and then lays it forward, looking for <laughs> Liam Henderson, who just leaves something in there in an aerial challenge, which is won by the Gressley back line and then cleared over the top, looking for Jeff Henderson. Chris Reed slotting in at left back, and there's Sam Hudson on the ball, who plays it at the chest of Liam Henderson, who plays it down the line. And here's Davy Carson, all of a sudden, we're up to the edge of the box, and a chance to cross left footed, and he does so. And it, it's going to go all the way through to Taylor on the edge of the area. Chance to shoot right footed. Good save from the keeper low down. But in truth, that ball should never have got anywhere near Sean Taylor, the defender. I mean, a complete hash of it. And Eden Turner and Henderson, it's laid into that near post and it's, it's flicked on by a Gressley man, but it'll come to Chris Reed who just loops it into the back post. Get it! Hits the inside of the post and it drops like a pudding on the line. Who gives him it back and then he hoists it up towards Liam Henderson who just nods it down under no pressure to Wayne Phillips and a chance to attack the area. All of a sudden, Wayne Phillips is in the box and he's gunning for the byline and he sends one. One way and gives it back to Liam Henderson who goes down in the area and that's a penalty kick. Will be Carson just takes three, four, five steps back. Blow right foot. Keeper has his arms outstretched trying to put him off. Looks like a big old goal that one though. Carson steps up and yeah. puts it in the back of the net. It's 1-0 Mortar Town. 20 minutes in. And the Highwaymen have that opening goal that they needed because this could have descended into something of a scrappy, hard-fought game, but they've got the advantage of yards out. The gap between the Gressley midfield and forward now is probably 30 yards. They'll just get more and more isolated as the ball's played over the top and Ben Sayer could be in on the right-hand side. He's got options in the box and he lays it in and pushed clear by the keeper only as far as Liam Henderson over the top. And a half. On halfway, gives it to Sam Hodgson, who's got time and space on the ball to find Sean Taylor, who gives him it back. And they look to move further up the pitch with Wayne Phillips. Fully 35 yards from goal. He's got options left and right, and he goes inside to Carson, who might open up to have a shot, and he does shoot. It's a cross goal, and it's wide. Wesley's byline, and gives it to Taylor, gives him it back, and they play a 1 2. That's a nice back heel into Ben Sayers into the area. Right footed, has a chance to shoot. Pushed away by the keeper at the near post. Sayer crosses it in, heads go up and it's in at the back of the net, it's 2-0 Michael Turner! Well, Gressley protests, but never going to get any for that. Michael Turner just rose highest and nodded it home. Here is Jeff Henderson, gives it to Jordan Fry, and then tries to find Sean Taylor, slides in and wins the ball and he's into the area, gets to the byline, chance to cross, he does so low and it's headed in by Liam Henderson, it's 3-0! Simplicity. In a word, simplicity. Yeah, he's conceded three. Throwing is taken by Mortimer Town, and here is Jordan Fry with a chance to cross into the area, and it's a good ball in as well, but it'll drop for Liam Henderson! Blocked and away! Shouts of handball, and the referee says no, it's a corner kick. Sends it in towards that near post. It nearly gets a flick on, but it'll drop for Jordan Fry from distance. It takes a deflection that's no more than a few inches wide. Here is the substitute, Zachary Evans, who tries to clear it, but can only find Sam Hodgson. And he gives an turn to Wayne Phillips, who's on the edge of the area. Gives it to Chris Reed, who's inviting a shoot. It's an absolute thunderbolt, which, although it ends up in the houses behind the goal, it wasn't far off. Back to... Henderson, but he's able to bring it down. And then play it long, right footed, looking for Henderson over the top, and he's in behind. Into the area, chance to shoot, he does. It's straight at the keeper, who makes a good save. He'll come back to Wayne Phillips, though. Left footed, looks to dink it in, and just guides it into the hands of the keeper. Way. That's a lovely turn on the ball by the Grizzly man, and he's played it in towards Graves, and Dan Lawson slips on the turf, and he somehow gets a hand on it to clear it away. I would say because he's, he's not had much football the last couple of weeks, but he's came back in. 
not his natural position and been thoroughly ugly. Nice break off as Jack Foley gets in the area here and shoots low. That's a good save from the keeper, Oliver Fairbrother. We had to react to that one. Right in the opposite corner now. Kind of running himself in a circle a bit here. Surrounded by a couple, but he's able to play the ball towards the edge of the box and take, drop for Jack Foley. He tries to shape to shoot, instead finds Carson. They're in the area and it's slow, methodical build up. And here is Foley who shoots from distance, but it's scooped up by the keeper, and that should be that. Tiger's first touch is just a bit loose in it. He gathers up the, the ball and he gives it inside to Davy Carson. Is there going to be one more chance? And he's clearly fouled there. But there goes the final whistle, and it was. Thoroughly well deserved three points for the Highwaymen who stay top of Evo Stick East.